guys, it's Miss Hogg. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we are going to be on this page that you just got in class. Um, that is review 3.5. Um, we're going to be looking at, we're going to be reviewing today because Monday you're going to have a quiz. So it's really important that you guys take notes today on that page that was given to you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that page on paper. So it's hard for me to show you handwritten notes without the page on paper. So most of what I'm going to be doing is um, on the camera. So hopefully you guys can see the camera right now. I'm going to be switching back and forth so that um, y'all can see what I see. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm writing down, number one, I'm going to be writing down those points. Um, so make sure you have something to write with. I don't think you're going to need a calculator. Um, well, actually, yes. Go ahead and go get your calculator. If you need to pause, go get your calculator. Um, you can go do that right now. And I'm going to um, write down the um, points while you do that. So go get your calculator. Okay, so I have written down the points. So the, the worksheet says to, it says, find the slope of the lines connecting the two points. So there's two ways that you've learned. We taught you, uh, I've taught you how to do this. The first way is by hand, and that is using this y minus y over x minus x. So the other day when I taught it to you, I said y2 minus y1 or x2 minus x1. Well, you don't have to do the 2s and the 1s. You can just say y minus y, x minus x. Don't worry about the 2s and the 1s. Just take your y values, subtract them, and subtract your x values, okay? So what I like to do first is I like to label x, y, x, y. Okay. So now I'm going to sub in those values. All right, so we have y minus y. We have negative 4 minus negative 3 over x minus x, 7 minus negative 5. Okay, so y minus y over x minus x. All right, so you can use these notes on Monday on your quiz. That's why I want you to take good notes. Do not fast forward through these notes just copying down so you can get through. It's really important that you guys know how to do this, the process. Okay, so when you have a negative number, you're subtracting a negative number. Remember we keep flip change or plus the opposite and change those signs. So now that's going to give us negative 4 plus a positive 3 is going to give us a negative 1 and a 7 plus a positive 5 is a positive 12. Negative 1 over 12. Okay, so our slope m is negative 1 over 12. All right, so let's go back to what the worksheet says. All it said is just find the slope. So that's what we're doing, that's what we did. Okay, now remember there is a way you can do this in the calculator. So I'm going to show you how to do it in the calculator on number two. Go ahead and do number two. Get your calculator handy. We have five is our x and five is our y. Negative three is our x. Negative eight is our y. Okay. So remember, make a little chart over here. And we have 5, 5, negative 3, and negative 8. All right. So remember, we're going to go to stat 1. I'm going to clear out what I have here. All right. So that's going to give us 5 and 
negative 3 and we also have 5 and negative 8 okay so then we're going to go stat over to calc option 4 and enter 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 it's telling us that our A is which is our M 1.625 okay now you don't need the B it just wants to know what the slope was now let me tell you this okay I would like for you to have this in a fraction so let me show you how to do that if you go go ahead and hit clear and then one point you're going to enter that value 1.625 all right and press enter then you're going to go math enter enter so let me write that down enter 1.625 into calc okay and then press enter then math enter enter okay and that will give you the fraction which in this case it says it is 13 over 8 so your m in a fraction is 13 over 8 that's what you would get if you did y minus y, x minus x, okay? So let's do number three in handwritten way. You're doing number three on your worksheet, okay? Same guys. We have y minus y, 12 minus 12 over x minus x, 4 minus negative 8. So we're going to get a 0, 12 minus 12 is 0, and 4 minus negative 8, that ends up being a positive 12, okay, when we change our sign. So it's okay to have a 0 on the top because 0 divided by anything is going to give you a 0. What we don't want is the 0 on the bottom, that's where we get that undefined slope. So if our m equals 0, all right, then that means it has no slope, it's horizontal horizontal slope. Remember Hoy bucks. Hoy bucks. Horizontal horizontal line. Zero slope. Y equals. Okay, it's Y equals something. So your your I just wonder if refer back to that. Okay, but your M your slope is zero. So that's your answer. And we'll do this last one with the calculator method. X Y. Go ahead and put those in, negative 4 and 8, 4 and 32. Okay, so stat, 1, clear, clear. All right, I got my x's, which are four, negative 4 and 4. And my y's are 8 and 32. All right. And then we're going to go stat, calc, 4, enter, 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 enter. All right. So that tells me right there that my a, which is my m, is 3. Okay. All right. So that's how we do that first page. All right. Oh, we have some more down here. I'm gonna want. I want you to go ahead and do those yourself. Those four, I want you to do yourself. But before you do that, let's look at the second page. On the second page, you're on Monday. You're gonna see that you have these um, graphs, 
and you have to find the slope from the graph. So remember, you remember how to do this, okay? I'm going to show you on Cami here. All right. We're going to put in, we have to type in the, um, the values of the first coordinate pair, which is A. So this one right here, uh, that is X is negative 2. And your Y is negative 2. Okay, that's your first one. And B, A, so you're writing this in, okay? Your B is, your Z, um, X is 0, and your Y is 1. Okay, so now, you can do one of those two methods we just did. Let's use the calculator. If we use the calculator, I'm going to go y equals, oh, not y equals, stat, edit. Clear out those. Okay. All right, so we have our x value, which the x's were negative 2 and 0. And our y's are negative 2 and 1. Okay, so now... I put that into my calculator, like so. I'm going to go stat, calc, option 4, enter, 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 enter. All right, so my A is 1.5. 1.5 is a decimal. Let me go back. So my answer here. Okay, okay, 1.5, okay, or, you know, if we wanted to put that in a fraction form, which I, I would like for you to do, is I'm going to take that 1.5, Enter it in on the regular screen, and I got to this screen by pressing clear. And then I'm going to go to math, enter, enter. And that shows me 3 over 2. So now, that's also my answer. So on the back, you'll just keep going this way. You'll do, you'll list point A which is negative 2, negative 2, and B, you have to know how to find those coordinate pairs, is going to be 0, 2, x is 0, y is 2, um, go ahead and enter that in your calculator and get your M, so stat, Edit, negative 2, negative 2, I'm sorry, 0, and then we have negative 2 and 2 this time. So, this is what your calculator will look like, and then you're going to go stat. Calc, or enter, 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 and it tells you that your your um, your slope or m is a equals two. So now on here, 
we know that this is going to be 2. Okay, so I want you to go through, um, oh, let's do one more. And we'll find the slope using the slope formula that's down here on number 7. on text box. Work with me. All right. So use the slope formula. So what they want you to do is do x or y minus y. So 5 minus 5. And then over x minus x. So 3 minus 2. Okay. And then there, remember there's a, I'm drawing this because I don't have this on paper. All right, so that's going to equal, let's see, text box, 5 minus 5 equals 0, and 3 minus 5 equals, whoops, 0, 3 minus 5 equals negative 2. So we have a 0 over negative 2, which is going to equal a 0. Come on. There we are. Your, um, your answer is going to be 0. That's your M. Now, what is your B? How can we find that out? What I suggest you do, the calculator is going to tell you, is I suggest that you go in and you put those points in on the calculator. I'll do that with you right quick. So we had a 3 and a... Oh, man. Did I do that wrong? 3 minus 2. That's what that's supposed to be. And that would be a positive one, but it's still going to be zero. It's zero to the one. Okay, so I'm going to go back in my calculator, and I'm going to clear. I'm going to go in and put those values in. Um, if you if you understand the whole calculator process, the calculator is easier, in my opinion, and it tells you every time the B and the A, the A or the M. Okay, so. I'm going to put those in. So in L1, my x values are 3 and 2. And my y values are 5 and 5. Okay, so last thing here, guys. What I did was I just put in my x values, 3 and 2, and my y values of 5 and 5. And then you're going to go stat 4. Oh, nope. Stat and calc or enter, 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 enter. All right, so it tells you your M is zero, which is what we already found out, and your B is five. So let's, let's go ahead and type that in. So your B is five. So now I want you on these on the bottom, Y, I want you to put them in Y equals. Now that you know your M and your B, your, you can put it in the slope intercept form. Y equals zero X. Plus, plus 5, just like that. And now you have an equation for this line with these two points, not this line, but these two. And um, that's it. So I want you to go through and see if you can, if you can answer the rest of these um, and just do your best uh, on number and then on number uh, and then your sub once you finish your sub we'll be able to um, let you know if you got them right and you can uh, check your answers so that you're ready for the quiz on Monday uh, the quiz on Monday I'll let you use these notes it will be on Google Classroom so that you'll get an instant grade and I can put that in for you so you need to make sure you're paying attention and you know how to do this all right have a good weekend and go Raiders.